Okay, class, we're going to be creating a table stand for a tablet. So we're going to go into Tinkercad and we're going to go into designs here. As Tinkercad is a new lab. look. Designs and choose um, 3D designs. Okay. And you see on 3D designs here, I've already created it. I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, tinker, okay, tinker this. And this is the object that we'll be creating today. And what this will end up being is, let's see, this little guy right here. Okay. This part right here, we're going to make this first, and then we're going to make the back part right here, and then the holder. And this will be able to hold a tablet. And you can shrink it um, easily, um, and it can hold a um, phone and do different things. So you can hold different um, objects here. Shrinking things and or making things larger is very easy um, when it comes to 3D printing. So let's get started creating this object. So let's delete that. And what we're going to start with is we're going to start with the box. And we're going to start with a cylinder. And we'll clean up the cylinder a little bit, those edges there, by taking the sides and we're going to put this to the max 64. And that'll clean it up. Let's get this out of the way. Okay, so let's talk about the sizes. Uh, we're going to make the cylinder in a, to a 10 by 10. So from 20, we're going to make it 10. And this 20 right here, we're going to make that 10. Okay, and then let's go to this guy right here and let's make his side right here also 10 but we're gonna make his length um, let's say about 25 so let's make his length 25 okay good alright we're gonna change perspective we're gonna look from on top and it's gonna help us work a little better and I'm going to click the um, bring this as close as I can Oops, didn't mean to do that. So I'm going to do that. Let's move this guy over. And I'm going to zoom in using the letter F. So we're pressing F. And it kind of zooms in. We'll zoom out again. And a little bit more. Again, we're looking from the top. And we're going to combine these two pieces. And we want this to be exactly in the middle. So let's work. Nope, that doesn't look in the middle yet. So I'll move it over. Yeah, that's about middle. Okay, if you need to change the snap grid, you can. Okay, that looks good. All right, so that's our first piece. Um, our second piece, let's use this piece right here. We're going to duplicate it. And then we're going to use the up arrow to pull it out. There it is. And we want this new piece to be, oh, sorry. Uh, we want this new piece to be about 75. So we're going to change this right here from 25 to 75. Okay, good. Now, we're going to spin this guy around 90 degrees. So we're going to click the arc here. Okay, bring it back out. Click the arc again. There it is. Okay, so we're going to make that 90 degree turn. Okay, good. All right, let's grab this guy and we're going to put him right on top here and put him in the middle. And I'm going to hit, um, I'm going to click, I want to zoom in a little bit. I'm going to click this guy right here, I'm click F. Aha, it zooms in very nicely. So if you click an object and then hit the letter F, it will zoom right into what you're looking at. And that's perfect. Okay, so I'm going to back out again. Okay. So, um, let's get a new piece here. Let's click this guy again. We're going to duplicate it and pull the piece out. And this one I want to be 15. So, let's change this to a 15 instead of 25. Got it. Okay, we got that next piece there. Looks good. All right, this piece right here, we're going to duplicate this little cylinder. So we're going to hit duplicate, and then we're going to bring the, push the duplication over here. Oops, too far. Let's use F to zoom in. Okay, 
and then we want him exactly at one half. Oops. Yeah, that looks exactly at one half. Let's zoom out again. Zoom out, zoom out. And this guy, we want to turn him around 90 degrees. So hit the arc, put in 90 degrees, and he turns over. Okay, and we're going to put him right here. And move over. We want it halfway. Oops, that doesn't look good. We hit F again. Um, oops, this does not. Okay, I'm going to turn my snap grid to a 0.5, see if that helps. Ha, ah, that helped beautifully. Now, I'm trying to get halfway is up and down, it's a little tough. I think that's halfway. Okay, up and down, that looks good. All right, I'm going to zoom out. Okay, I want another little um, cylinder on top here, so let's click this guy and duplicate and then pull him out and then drag him up 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 to the top and let's back out a little bit um, there we go okay I want to zoom in on this guy so hit F there we go and let's push him over we want him halfway in that doesn't look halfway That looks halfway. That looks halfway. All right, very good. Let's zoom out of here. All right, nice, 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 nice. All the pieces seem to be there. And for these, sorry, do a little zoom in on this guy right here. All right. Okay. So, um, the next piece. Uh, oh, we want to put a round piece here as well. So let's click this guy. And then do a duplication and drag him up. And we're going to put it halfway. It's hard to see, so we hit the letter F. There we go. And that looks about halfway. Okay, good. All right, one more time. We're going to click this piece, do a duplication, bring the duplication out. But this time, um, we're going to change the size of this right here. Right now, he's at a 10 by 10. We're going to make it 6 by 6. So six, oops, that's a five. Six by six. Okay, and then furthermore, we're gonna make him a hole. So click him again and click hole. Okay, and then we wanna take this guy, we wanna put him back in the middle here. I gotta zoom in, so hit the letter F. I wanna get him just right, there we go. All right, I think he's right in the middle. All right, so zoom out. Let's go home here. There we go. All right, so we got all these pieces. Let's select everything and we're going to group it together. There we go. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, now let's turn around and take a look at it. Looks good, looks good, looks good. All right, and we want to. I think we need to turn him over. I need to change the height on this guy. Let's see if I remember the height. I think I need to have him at 80. So let's change the height from 20 to 80. Yeah, that's it. That's it. All right. We want to lay him on his back. So we're going to do a uh, rotation. And let's see. I don't need that rotation. Where's the rotation? There? Oh, there we go. That rotation is what I need. So let's click him. And instead of 90, that'll turn the wrong way. I'll make it negative 90. Negative 90. And there we go. All right. You notice that he's floating. Anytime you get floating, hit the letter D for down. And that'll put him back on the ground there. Let's pull him in the middle here. Looking good. Looking good. All right. Oh, let's kind of pull him off to the side because there's a new piece I need. Uh, I'm going to grab this um, box here that's already a hole. And the dimensions I want to make this is going to be, um, let's see, I want the longest side to be a 75. There we go. And I want the height to be a 35. 
and then I want the width here to go from 20 to a 70. Believe me, it's big. All right, nice, nice, nice. Okay, so drag this guy eh, somewhere around here. And let's see, I want to grab everything and pull him over to the middle so we can kind of see the action here. What I want to do is that I want to um, do an alignment. Let's click alignment. And I want the bottoms to match. Okay, that matches the bottoms. Good. And then I want it right in the middle. So let's put it right in the middle. Okay, that works. Okay, I think that's good. All right, so now let's select everything. And we're going to group that together. And there we go. This is our first piece that we need. So that's the adjustable stand. This is part one. Okay, now that we have our piece here, we're going to add two little nodules here and here. And we're going to get them from the cylinder here. And we're going to make this a 5x5. Five five. Let me bring this over so you can actually see it. No, didn't mean to do that. Let's pull this over here to this side. And we're gonna make this side five by five over here. Okay. And then we're gonna make this total of 10 instead of 20. So the height is gonna be 10 millimeters. All right, there we go. Now let's zoom in here. I wanna hit the letter F. We're gonna zoom into that spot. There we go. And we're gonna flip him over 90 degrees. So let's go up here and maybe back out a little bit. And let's make this a 90 degree flip this way. 90 degrees. There we go. Good. All right. And then lastly, we're going to put him 2.5 millimeters above the plane. So we're going to click him and grab this little um, cone here and see if we can get 2.5. Well, that's 3. Let's change that to 2.5. There we go. Okay, now he's 2.5 off the plane. Now let's move him over to this piece here. Okay. And it's hard to see, so let's hit F again and then back out. All right, we want to fit him right in here. The question is, where do we fit him? Um, he has to be about 7.5 from the base here. So let's turn this around a bit. Let's go to top. Okay, that's a better look from the top. And I'm going to use the arrows here. Let's see, is that flat? Um, it looks like it's flat. Yeah, yeah, it looks like he's touching. Okay, so now that he's touching, I can move him down seven and a half times. So, and I got my snap grid at one millimeter. So, um, Hit the down arrow seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And now we need a half, so we're going to turn our snap grid into a 0.5 and then go down one more time. And that's seven and a half. Okay, now let's put our snap grid back at one millimeter. And now we're going to press this in to the left here. So, left button. And it's going to go right in. And you're going to stop right here in the middle here. Again. Press until you start right here in the middle. And that looks really good. All right, so we're going to click our object and duplicate it. And the duplication, we're going to press the right arrow and we're going to move it to the other side. And we'll get this little guy out of the way. And this is back out. And there we go. We want to go right in there. We should be at the same height, so nothing should be wrong. Let me hit the letter F. And it zooms us right in. Oh, that's nice. I think I got it right in the middle. Yeah, that's it. Right in the middle. Okay, let's go up. Hey, that looks really good. And the other side, that looks really good too. All right, let's make all this one solid piece. And step one is finished. So we're going to group this. And it's all one piece now. All right, you got your base of your adjustable table stand ready.